Hi everybody, um, welcome to my little video series on fitness for 40s, 50s, and beyond. So I wanted to make these videos to share some strength work you can do um, at home uh, in small increments um, that hopefully you can add to your workout. As we, especially women, um, begin to age, uh, especially into our 40s and beyond, it's really important to do strength training. Um, beginning around the age of 30, we actually begin to lose bone mass. And so strength training is a great way to counter some of that natural, ten natural tendency to just lose bone. Uh, why that happens, um, your bones um, actually continually um, ch change. Um, you lose and create new bone every, all the time. Um, and after about 30, the process of losing the bone <laughs> goes faster than creating. So we wanna try to maybe slow that process. Um, uh, other work, other weight-bearing exercise is great, including cardio. Um, but if you need to shave off a little bit of the cardio to make time for strength, that's really uh, probably a good trade-off um, as you move into your 40s. Plus, hopefully you'll enjoy um, um, being able to do cardio longer because you'll keep things um, safe and healthy. So what I mean by that are the whole muscle structure, your whole muscles, tendons, and ligaments that's supporting everything as you love to do that in cardio work that you love to do. So this first video is going to be just a warm-up and activation video that you can use even before you just go out for a run or a walk or something, or before you start any workout. And then I'll have other videos um, that address or focus on other parts of the body um, for strength work. Um, you don't need a lot of weight to do this. Um, in fact, you don't need any, um, but I will use weights and show, show with some weights. Um, for this first one, if and, and future videos, if you have a band like this, it would be good to have. And if you don't have these, I'd recommend getting some. Um, you, when you buy them, you'll get them in a pack of probably five with different um, um, tensions, so different kind of weight. Uh, they'll be like light, medium, heavy, etc. And And these come in real handy. You can use them in a lot of different ways. If you have a foam roller, um, I'll demonstrate some, something with the foam roller if you don't have one, not a big deal. But if you do, it's again, kind of a nice thing to have. And then if you have a light weight, like a two pound weight, um, we'll use that at the very beginning activation work. So to start, we'll just start with some warm up. If you're not warm already, if you are, you can just fast forward past this part. Um, but for the warm up, let's just start um, by marching in place. So as we start to march in place, let's right away engage through the core, lift, lifting a little bit in that kind of lower belly area, relaxing the shoulders. <clears throat> Go ahead and pump your arms. That will help drive up the heart rate a little bit more, get you warmer faster. So the idea of the warm up is to warm up. So you wanna start to feel warm. You wanna maybe even start to feel your joints kind of get warm and that some of that synovial fluid is moving around. And then let's go ahead and take our knees wide, still trying to keep nice and tall, and then draw them back together, and then take them wide. And you know, if, if, if this kind of warm up doesn't work, or if you've got handy a bike, or um, any, any cardio, piece of cardio you wanna warm up on, you can also warm up just with walking or something like that. A little bit of the movement will do, does help though with Kind of warming up the other joints so walking is great um, just try to get a little bit of movement in your arms too so you can get your shoulders warm and then with our toes staying out wide let's just tap side to side and all we're going to add here is an arm reach again kind of warming up now more into the shoulders and also the whole side you'll probably feel that <laughs> and then let's take it across the chest so now warming up again Still that whole shoulder girdle and you'll feel it now more, a little bit more in the chest. So we're gonna get everything nice and warm. And then you can take it up a couple times, across a couple times, <clears throat> just alternating. <clears throat> and then go ahead and stop your feet and we'll just come with our feet wide. We're gonna take our hands to our hips and we're gonna do some um, warm up for the spine. So, as you inhale, you're gonna kind of tilt your tail, arch your back a little bit as you scoop down, and then just scoop up. Start up with your, start drawing up through your navel, and then let the crown of the head drop, kind of roll up. 
Inhale as you roll down. Exhale as you roll up. Inhale, roll down. Exhale, roll up. Inhale, roll down. Exhale, roll up. One more time, inhale and roll down. Exhale and roll up. And then go ahead and draw your feet together. And um, again, since this is a video, you can always pause it. You could do a few more of those. You could stay down and do some stretching. One thing I did want to do is a little bit more in the chest and, and upper back. So with your arms, um, elbows at, at shoulder height, just draw, lightly draw the shoulder blades together. And then draw the arms in front and round the upper back. So inhale, draw it back. Exhale, draw it forward. Inhale, draw it back. Exhale, draw it forward. This time as you draw it back, open the arms like you're gonna press something together and draw it forward. Inhale and open, exhale, draw it forward. And this you might already feel, I feel a little bit of engagement right through the, the pectoral area of the chest. And that's totally cool. It's what we wanna to start to engage a little bit here. And then releasing the arms down, let's just take a big breath in and out through your mouth. So come on down to the floor. And again, if you've got a um, weight, grab your weight, just a light weight, and we're gonna end the band. And we're gonna do some activation here. So we'll start with core activation. And we'll start with dead bug. So for dead bug, you're gonna come on your back. Your feet are, and arms are both gonna be up in the air, kind of at 90 degrees. Draw the low back to the floor and we're gonna alternate um, leg and arm opposites. So extend opposite leg and arm up and then engage the core to draw it back in. Inhale as you extend it out. Exhale as you draw it in. Inhale as you extend out. Exhale as you draw it in. And again, so that's two on each side. We're gonna do 12 on each side. If you'd like to add a weight, this is where you could add a weight to your arm. You can inhale as you, and then exhale. If you've only got one weight like I do, you can just swap it out. If you've got a weight for each hand, great. I just didn't grab one. So we're gonna always inhale here and then exhale on the exertion. It's a pretty pretty standard if you, if you kind of forget when to breathe in and when to breathe out. Generally, you're gonna exhale as you exert and exhale through your mouth. The reason for that is to release, help to release pressure. These are, this is hopefully not super pressure building, but sometimes if you're lifting heavier weight, it will, it will be. Inhaling and exhaling. Try to keep the low back pressed to the floor. Really, uh, the more you do these, the more you'll probably start to be able to feel that core engage. And if you're already done with 12 on each side, take a pause. I think I've got a couple more here. Now an option with this is instead to do it on the foam roller. I just wanna show you guys this version two, if you've got the foam roller, you're gonna keep one foot on the floor, and again, use the weight, and it'll be the same thing, but you'll stay on one side for all 12. So that would be another option. And actually, you'll do these twice, so you can have a chance to do it the other way if you'd like. <clears throat> okay, next we're gonna do a little bit of glute and hip activation, so we're gonna take the tube, if you've got one, Take it all the way above your knees. And we'll start with clamshells. So you'll lie down on one side. You'll draw your knees in, keeping your feet together, flexing your toes. You're gonna open your knees and then come back together. Exhale as you open. Inhale as you come back together. Exhale as you open. Inhale as you come back together. Now here again, we just did our core activation. Can you find that same activation? Even though we're technically not, you know, 
stressing the core. It doesn't have, you don't have to activate it and you can still do the glute lifts for the clamshells. But if you engage it, you'll notice the strength in your whole posture. And that's something just to remember, even like when you're out walking or running, it's really good to kind of just remind yourself, engage my core. So we'll do 10 of these on one side. And if you're at 10, you can go ahead and stop. And then come on up and switch sides. So if you can roll over, I'm gonna just roll this way so I can still see you guys, or so you can see me. <laughs> and then open and close. We'll do 10 on this side. And again, if you don't have the tube, you're probably finding this out, you can still do these. Um, you might wanna do a few more, maybe try to do 12 to 15, um, but you'll start to feel it. Again, the, these activation, this activation set, um, while it will hopefully build a little bit of strength and also really um, more the muscle, the tendons and ligaments, but um, we'll work, we'll, we'll focus on, and here we're getting um, abductor and glute. We'll do more abductor and glute in another video. So you don't have to worry that, oh no, I'm not getting enough strength building. You will, if you do the other videos. Okay, so come on back to your back, and this time we'll do glute, and this is really great glute activator. So um, it's basically a bridge, but you're gonna have your knees and feet wide. Probably my feet are as wide as my mat. My knees are a little less wide than my feet. Again, if you've got the band, you can just keep it on. If you don't have it, you'll still feel these. <laughs> and then your arms are gonna be alongside your body. You're gonna press into your heels and lift your hips. Exhale as you lift. Inhale as you come back down. Exhale to lift. Inhale to come back down. And we'll do 10 of these. Exhale to lift. Inhale to come back down. Exhale to lift. Inhale to come back down. Exhale to lift. Keep your eyes on the ceiling here. So if you feel like you wanna turn and look at me, um, roll to one side rather than just turning your head. But really, I'm just continuing to do the bridge, starting to really feel the good old glutes engage. They are such a strong muscle, but they sometimes forget to work. Okay, and then come on back down. So the last little activation work we're gonna do is um, plank and you can either do plank on your knees um, or you can come up <clears throat> off your knees you can even go back and forth but actually we're going to hold the plank while we do some shoulder or um, upper back shrugs so you're going to drop press into the mat and round your upper back as you exhale inhale and come back just to neutral exhale Inhale back to neutral. Exhale. Inhale back to neutral. Exhale. Inhale back to neutral. Exhale. And we'll do five more of these. So this is more to activate that upper back. Get those muscles kind of warm. And it sort of helps your mind-body connection, right? You sort of feel like, okay, what does it feel like to use those upper back muscles and then one more exhale and then we'll come on back down so go ahead and repeat all of the activation work you don't have to do the warm-up again so you'll do the dead bugs 10 on each side you'll do the clam shells 10 on each side and you'll do the bridges 10 on each side for the last plank we'll do a hold so when you're ready for that, go ahead and pause your video and do those other ones and then come back and join me for a minute plank hold. So here we go. Our minute plank hold, start to find your perfect position. Keep breathing here, pressing the heels towards the back of your mat, lifting through your low belly, breathing in and out. And again, you can always be on your knees or you can come back and forth. You can drop to your knees and then press back up. We're almost halfway. 
So stay with it. Keep breathing. Your gaze is like at the top of your mat as if your two index fingers formed a little triangle or an upside down V. They're at the apex. Keep lifting through the low belly, pressing the heels back, drawing the heart forward. Got just about a little over five seconds. Stay nice and strong. Three, two, and one. Come on back down. Great, so hopefully you feel nice and warm. You can be ready to go out on your run, your walk, hike, whatever you got going. Or go to the next video for a little more strength work. Thanks everybody, bye-bye.